Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are finally back, and we are going to be doing something way different than what I've been doing for the past couple months. We are throwing it back in today's video. So as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail and what's behind me, today we are going to be doing a good old-fashioned moto vlog, and what we're going to be riding is my 2006 or 7. I don't really even know. This thing was just abandoned out in the yard that I got, like, last summer, I think it was. But we're going to be taking this thing out on the street for the very first time. I have never taken this thing out of the backyard, which is a little upsetting. Like two or three videos ago, you guys saw that we revived this thing and we put on uh, basically all new drivetrain, I guess you could say. Brand new front sprocket, chain, and rear sprocket because this thing has always had an issue with the chain falling off and everything like that. And that's basically why I abandoned it. But ever since we put on the new stuff, the chain has been mint. Basically, just from what I could tell from around the backyard, uh, it feels pretty good. So I want to take this thing out and, uh, you know, make sure that it's good to go, you know, how it does in the high speeds. Not too high, though, because I really haven't got in, like, the high fourth gear yet. This is a five-speed bike, so definitely have to get my way up there. I brought it to, like, some trails, like, not too far away, but I really wasn't able to open it up there. I also want to give you guys a uh, update about what's been going on. Uh, it's definitely some pretty exciting stuff. And, you know, for the reason, for the lack of videos. If you guys follow my Instagram, Snapchat, you guys know a little bit of why. But I'll just let you guys know more when I'm on the bike. But let's go ahead and get this thing all fired up. A uh, little bit of a cold start here. It is freezing out here. This thing has ran in a couple days. So let's see how it does. Usually it does pretty well. Gas is on. Shut the gas before we ride. Plenty. I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to take one kick. This thing is usually pretty reliable. Oh, boy. Alrighty guys, so we are out here on the road. It is definitely gonna take some getting used to being back out here on the dirt bike. But man, does it feel good throwing it back to the OG styles. The dog was not liking it. But honestly, I love this bike so much. I know a bunch of people always ask, what is the best beginner bike? And honestly, I say this with a ton of positivity that this is one of the best beginner bikes you can start off on. It's like super loaded ground, so it's super easy to maneuver around. It's got some good get up and go. Ooh, she's still a little cold. But I'm telling you, once it's warm, it's got some good get up and go. And it's got a clutch, so, you know, you can have some fun on it, dump the clutch, practice wheelies, practice how to, you know, learn on bigger bikes. It's definitely one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Woo! That was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And this bike is completely stock. Besides, of course, the gears that we just did. Basically, what's been going on with the channel? Here's a little update portion of this video. <laughs> awesome. Uh, sorry, I keep losing the track. Is as you guys remember, a couple videos back, I told you all that I was going to be taking a break uh, with uploading NASCAR videos, so I don't bore you guys anymore. You know, with constantly uploading, you know, every little thing I do. So, with that being said, I have been getting done a ton of stuff on the video, on the NASCAR, off camera, and if you guys follow my Instagram Snapchat, like I said before, you guys have been seeing some small sneak peeks of what exactly has been done. So if you guys definitely don't follow me on Instagram and Snapchat already, definitely go hit that follow button. Uh, both of the names are going to be on the outro of this video. Another thing I love about this bike is that you rev match so good. But the NASCAR, I'm just gonna say it now, uh, is gonna be done in a little while. And what I mean by a little mile is that it is basically done. <laughs> I have been working all day 
every day hustling to get that thing done for you guys and once that video drops with the NASCAR definitely click on it because it's gonna be a sick video I kind of want to try a uh, wheelie on this I know to get up and go on the uh, dirt but I don't know how to do on pavement let's try a little one right here all right maybe a little bit I'm in second gear right now. Maybe I should try first. It's just been a while since I've been on a bike. I was actually gonna go to the uh, track today, but it's just a little bit way, it's just way too cold to really enjoy yourself for like, for that long at the track. So I'm gonna hold off on that for, until it gets a little bit warmer. I know next week's supposed to get a little bit warmer, so. this thing probably go about 50 55 at least and this is stock gearing I can smell some rubber though <laughs> these tires probably a little dry rotted that's for sure yeah those dogs don't like it <laughs> but I want to see if this thing will do something that I always used to do with it it can shoot little like fireballs when I rev it up and then do a little special trick oh yep I heard it There it is. Man, this thing feels so good. I thought it was gonna feel a little wobbly, you know, after I took off the back wheel, you know, the other day and did everything, but I mean, for aligning it with just my eyes, this thing feels pretty straight. Kinda wanna see how this thing does from a dig. Woo! The one-two shift pulling up the front wheel. Almost off the back seat. This thing's got no traction on it whatsoever. That first gear though is so short. That's for like hill climbs or something. Alright, so it's getting a little bit late. It's like 5 o'clock right now. There's a bunch of cars starting to come. I don't want to push my luck or anything uh, with all the cars or cops or whatever. I was definitely able to do what I wanted to do. Is that to fuel out the bike. Give you guys a little bit update. You know, having some fun out here on the old Kawasaki. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do one quick little last run here and then we'll head back. Woo! Alright, let's get back home. So guys, the Kawasaki did awesome. I am really happy how it performed. And I definitely think it is good to go for the track. Just one thing that I probably need is just a uh, front brake lever. It's never had one. But I'm pretty sure the front brakes work. I just need to uh, bleed them and everything because I can press down the piston with my thumb. So I'm probably gonna actually order that tonight uh, because I plan on going to the track, like I said, sometime next week. And I'll definitely be able to whip this around way easier than NASCAR. Not the NASCAR, oh my god, the RM125. That thing is just taking over my mind. Just because of how low it is and just, you can honestly just beat on this thing. It'll probably handle it all. But anyway guys, the sun is setting. Uh, I just basically want to give you guys just a little bit of a update in this video and have some fun while we're doing so. But I do apologize for the lack of content. I've just always followed quality over quantity. I would rather upload videos that I'm proud of instead of uploading small stuff getting done over and over again and just boring you guys out and although I was you know pumping out content and everything like that I wasn't proud of getting into that habit of just uploading everything I did with that. So I'm gonna throw my heart into the next video with the NASCAR. Definitely don't miss it. I got just a whole video playing in my head of how I want it to go and I definitely think I can achieve it. Just behind those doors is, well, a ton of progress that's been made on the NASCAR. But anyway guys, before I'm standing here in the dark, I'm gonna be ending off this video here. Follow my social media, so it'll be on the outro of this video. Instagram, Snapchat are the mains. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, comment on this video, some video ideas that you guys would like to see next to NASCAR videos. I'm always looking for more content, so definitely comment that down below. And lastly, tell your friends about the channel. Oh.